Welcome to the what. What's new, what's next, what's hot. I'm your host, Meekum West. Today we have with us designer Shireen Dixon. Welcome, Shireen. Thank you. Thank you very much. The name of my clothing line is Rowena Zeta Design, mm -hmm. and it's actually a combination of my two middle names. And the clothing was started because I needed clothing that fit my kind of lifestyle. I was a dancer. I worked in the evening hosting events, and I also taught kids' classes. So I needed to find clothing that would move with me through all of these different situations. That's also on Sundays here during the summer. That's so. awesome. Yeah. Well, that's really, really great. Tell Thank them again you. the email address so they can know how to get a hold okay. of you. You can reach me at... RowenaZeta.com is yes. you too. Well, it's been really amazing having you on Likewise, the show. Thank I you so much. It, your, your designs look really, really amazing. Thank you. Thanks to the models, too. They were yes, excellent. Thank they you. Look really hot. We have with us very beautiful Hawa Abdul with <laughs> Hawa Cosmetics. Tell me a little bit about your cosmetic line. Uh, well, let me tell you. Um, I've been a professional makeup artist for 16 years now. Oh. Um, yeah, 16 years. Um, working for major companies for about 15 years, major like Estee Lauder companies, and then just really decided to come out with a line that would simplify a woman's makeup routine, you know, and just really make it hot and fun. So what are the things you're working on now? Um, like this season, just really soft, beachy, easy to go looks because in the summer it can become kind of hectic with makeup, like makeup, the hot weather. You kind of want to just keep it light and pretty. Right. It doesn't take that long to do either. I know no. my girl takes forever to do the makeup. Really? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just feel good spending time doing that. You oh, know? is that what it is? Yeah, oh, yeah. I... It's not really like time-consuming, but it just feels good to just be in a mirror creating, you know? Well, you're going to show us some of your creations today, right? Yeah. Um, talk to me a little bit about that. What are you going to show for us? Well, what I'm going to show you guys is something that's really easy to do. So just something, a little lip gloss, a little bronzing powder, and a touch of, like, um, loose um, paint eyeshadow on the lid to really pop the eyes. Paint eyeshadow. Explain that to me. Yes. It's like a loose pigment. It looks oh, wow. like so. It's really like powder that kind of Yeah, comes together. it's a loose powder. A little bit of glitter. Yeah, like nice a little light. shimmer, a nice light shimmer. Well, let's get your beautiful model up here and let's show the world how we do it. Yes. Well, this is my model Mercedes. And what I'm going to do is apply a little bit of bronzing powder just to give her that beachy look. And that was so simple. Yeah, so one, done. two, done, done, done. And eyeshadow, the loose paint eyeshadow, just to add a little shimmer. Oh, wow. Yeah, and this color works on all skin tones. It's really an easy to wear daily color. Looking at the powder, you don't think it's going to shimmer that much, but wow. It's, yeah, it comes I out quite nice. Across the room. You see it? <laughs> Well, um, talk to me a little bit. You have a store right now. Yes. And it's a store here in Brooklyn? Oh, yes. It's, loca it's located at 711 Fulton Street um, between Fort Greene and St. Felix. Are you online? Do you have a website? Um, it's under construction tell the, right tell now. Tell the viewers the website? And the website. Um, actually, what you can do is um, Google Hawa Cosmetics at H-A-W-A Cosmetics. Um, and you can really see what we're about and what we're doing. Right now, we're working on... Um, a school right now oh, wow. for um, young ladies who want to aspire to be makeup artists. So that should be kicking off um, like around September. Okay. We'll have a school going. Same website they can find out the information? Absolutely, absolutely. They can even call the store too as well and talk to us, you know, right on the spot. The What's no the number? Um, the number is 718-858-5507. And my last question for you, what do you see your, your cosmetics, where do you see it going in the next five years? I mean, where do you want to be in your career? Um, actually, I want to franchise the brand. Um, that's what we're setting it up for now, for the brand to be franchised. Um, I just really, really want women on a day-to-day -day base to know that being beautiful starts from within and makeup just makes it fun, you know? It's just... It's just something that's fun that you can wear, and not to really take it too seriously. Yeah, but, makeup you know, should be fun and not stressed over, right? Yeah, it shouldn't be stressed over, you know? I mean, you don't want to 
get all glitterified with, you know, like makeup. That's fun when you're going to the parties. But on a day-to-day -day base, there are ways that you can actually simplify your makeup without, you know, the headache. Well, that is really awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us on the show today. Well, you thank look really you for beautiful. having me. I hope to see your cosmetics and your schools do very, very well. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. Guys, this is Hawa Abdul on The What, What's New, What's Next, What's Hot. <laughs> welcome back to The What, What's New, What's Next, and What's Hot. I'm your host, Meekum West. With us now, we have awesome Sebastian DuPont with his awesome line, K. DuPont. I've been to a couple of the shows, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, this man is what's next. It's what's going on. Welcome. Welcome to the show, man. Thank How you. are you? Thank you. Tell me a little bit about your designs. What inspire you? What are you trying to do? Well, what, what inspires me is basically, you know, I'm an artist first before clothing, you know. So I incorporate both of them to give to the viewers and stuff, you know. Um, I basically design today, you know. I design what's in today, you know. And I try to create something to everybody to use with their everyday life, you know. So that's how I'm very colorful. I love to mix. You know, so I've seen your stuff on hats, on skateboards, the nice dresses your pretty models are wearing. Those, I mean, Everything. it's really awesome. I mean, you're pretty much just whatever. On no any, limit. No any limit. format, any media, K. No limit. You give it to me, I'll put something beautiful on it. You know. That's really. It's all about creating with everything. You know, adapting. You know. What made you get started? What made you, you know, want to do this kind of? Uh, what made me get started? Well, like I said, I launched last year. You know, I I went to school for art. You know, I've been designing since I was younger. You know. Okay. I decided, you know, I'm very, you know, clean cut. I like to be, presentation is key. It's first for me, you know, so I incorporate, you know, let me mix my art into the, you know, so in a sense, you know, I'm sharing my art with clothing. That's another way to share stuff. So, you know, put them together, you know, to do something, you know. Yeah, I mean, you've had shows all over the place. I mean, I've yeah. seen three already. Tigers, you so, you know, try to do something creative to show something new, you know. Okay. How would we how would we stay on track with K DuPont? You know, if I wanted to keep in touch um, and get all the latest information, is there you know a website or something we can give the viewers? Yeah, well, you can check us out at www.kdupont.com, K D U P O N T dot com, and basically you can see our social networks on the website, and you know just stay in touch. We got YouTube, you know, Facebook, you know, and like I said, just trying to keep everything updated and new stuff, you know, fresh. Where are you yeah. from, Sebastian? Are you from New York? Yes, yeah, I'm New York. And you see yourself spanning out across the have world? Have to be, have to have be. To can't be, be limited. You got to share, you know. It's all about sharing and showing everybody stuff, you know. So awesome. Tell me just a second about these designs right here. We got the tiger face. That's like your main design right now on these beautiful ladies. Yeah, it's, it's the design that we're trying to um, push now is the tiger, print the tigers, you know. And every design that I do design or anything I do do have something, you know. I write everything about my design. So when you check it out, you'll see. And it's basically to bring the inner, you know, beauty of just something small to incorporate with a person, you know. And like yeah. I said, you know, I, everybody, you know, Katie Pond loves all, all. Yeah, and those dresses look really comfortable. Models, are you comfortable right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing, right? Yeah, it looks really nice. Well, um, I hope you do really well. Yes. Your stuff is very hot every yes, time I go to your show. It. I mean, appreciate it's just it. it's like another world. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank man. you. Really Thank you. It. Ladies and gentlemen, the what? Sebastian uh, DuPont. Thank you very much. What's next? What's Welcome new? Back what's to the hot? What? What's new? What's next? What's hot? I'm your host, Meekum West. With us now, we have a special guest who's worked on several several big video projects. Let me welcome Latin. Yay, mm -hmm. me. Hello, Latin. homie. What's up, man? Tell me a little bit about the projects and stuff you've been working on. Um, well, probably the most recent project y'all probably seen out there is uh, the new Tony Ayo featuring 50 Cent, Pastor Patron. Uh, I did that. I also just did uh, two videos for Lloyd Banks, which was uh, Love and Hate and another video called S.O.D. and we have another one in the works right now. Oh yeah? So, What's in the works? Let me well, I can't tell y'all what I just said. We got it, you know, it's already out. But it's something hot, right? But it's something hot. Um, it, it's um, like basically the Lloyd Banks series is we basically shot a short film and we cut it up and split it up into different videos. Oh wow. And then just intercut it with performances. So nice. right now when you see it on World Star or all the different websites, it looks like a music video. But when you see them together, they form a film with just performances tying them all together. Wow. So, yeah, so check that out. I think part one, yeah, part one and two are out right now. Yeah. You could go and check them out. Where, where can we find that? Well, I mean, where can the viewers um, go? You could go to my website, which is what I would prefer, 
um, is SucioSociety.com, and you can see all my work there. You can okay. see all the videos. And, or you can just go to, like, World Star and On Smash, all those different blog sites. They, they're all up there. Okay. Yeah. All right, what, what made you want to get into all this? I mean, were you taking videos back in the day running around the neighborhood? or? Uh, it, it's actually pretty funny, man. I, I kind of just, it's one of those destiny things, man. I, one of my friends uh, was, a, was a pretty big director, um, Edwin DeSena, did, like, plods, shorty video, a whole bunch of big videos. And I would just tag along in his sets. And um, I just got turned out, pause. You know, I'd be like, uh, see everything, the cameras moving around and the lights and all the action. And I just yeah. like, yo, you know, put me on, put me on. And he'd be like, ah, yeah, whatever. Everybody wants to be a director. So I just kind of took it upon myself when they had a friend who was a rapper, uh, Katana. And we shot a video with Iron Solomon, Nems, a bunch of like underground rappers. And we just did it with a home camcorder, put it out, and it got like, 50,000 hits in like a week or something wow. crazy. How'd that feel? And I was like, whoa. I was yeah. like, you know, I, like, I literally didn't know how to do anything. Like, we just shot it, and then I went home, I downloaded Final Cut, you know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? The cereals. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> got the cereal crack or whatever, and then um, just, you know, just put it out, and, yeah. you know, it got received. And then, like, off well, of putting that on the internet, like, Fat Joe called me. And we shot a viral for Fat Joe. We did the 300 video. And I was like, my second video. I was just like, That's crazy. so right then and there, I was crazy. just like, we out of here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, forget this, you know. And it's just been crazy ever since. It's been crazy ever since. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a, a, a process. And it's definitely an industry that is transforming with technology faster than, I, faster than I even think music. Like, music completely changed due to MP3s and the mm -hmm. internet. But the whole video business is completely different than it was a couple years ago now. Really? I mean, you have, like, affordable cameras now, like the Canon 5D, the 7D, um, and, you know, it's giving people an opportunity that never before could actually put quality HD stuff out. You know, but the flip side of that also is you have crap everywhere now. You have yeah, everybody named mother putting a whack video out, yeah. and it's just kind of hurting the genre at the same time because now it kind of brings down the prices right. of people like me. Yeah, exactly. But I'm still expensive. <laughs> Let me ask you this: um, before you before you're done with this crazy world, of, you know, video production and stuff. What is one project you really want to work on or be involved with? That's a good question. Um, I want to make. It's gonna sound a little crazy. It's all right. It's what we do. I want to make an autobiographical movie about Christopher Columbus, but not Christopher Columbus how everybody portrays him to be. I want to show the fact that he was a criminal and how he pillaged the Caribbean islands and how he gave birth to the Puerto Ricans and a lot of the Cubans and how, how that culture and how a whole that, that whole action transformed society forever and the, the actual reality behind it, you know what I'm saying? Because a, a lot of people don't know about that, you know? No, it, and, and you know... His reputation is pretty much one-sided with... Yeah, you know, and it, it's kind of crazy, like, you know, in, in, like how society forgets that, you know... Yeah, you know, this dude's acts were criminal. He invaded a foreign land. They raped, pillaged, murdered, mm -hmm. and conquered. And, you know, and, hey, we landed here. There's people. You, you live here? Not anymore, you don't. Not anymore. Say, that's your girlfriend over here? No, she's not. Come here. You know, like, yeah. we did that stuff in this day and age. It would be... Yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> wow, man. Well, let me ask you this now. When the, the projects you're working on now, the videos you see, when, what is it you want people to feel when they watch your stuff? Um, I just want to... You know what it is? I want to give people... That feeling I had when I watched videos in the early 90s, like with people yeah. with Hype Williams and Little X and yeah. Chris Robinson was still around. Videos at that point went through a renaissance. Like, it was like they went from just being this black and white or this white background videos to, like, a whole new creative level. Where you had, you know, Hype with all the different colors and, you know, all the different types of concepts. And yeah, it kind of yes, went away from that because the music industry suffered and they didn't have the money to do it. But now with the whole turn in technology and how things are cheaper now, you can do some of these things. And that's just what I'm trying to bring back. I'm trying to bring back just the, the, the fun, the color, and the creativeness back to these videos. And yeah, that's, so that's that, what it's all about, you know. Yeah, when, you know, like, like at least my, 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 my whole uh, mission with doing a person's video or a client's video is to make the song that much better. Not necessarily like, oh, I saw that video. And yeah. it's, it's uh, Jeezy standing in front of a car on a white background. Oh, I saw that video. So, yo, did you see that video? Exactly. Yeah. Like, yo, that video's out. No, I want to be like, yo, did you see that video where the it's dudes got sucked it. through the TV and yeah, yeah yo came yeah. out and did this and the yeah. 50 Cent looked like Max Headroom? Yeah. Like, that's basically my, my goal is to give people 
something creative and different, something they want to look at. Well, that's awesome, man. I mean, you really sound like you got it together. You know what's going to happen. I mean, I enjoy watching your stuff, man. So it's really, it's been awesome having you on the Thank show. Thank you, no doubt. You want to tell the viewers where they can keep in touch, keep in link? Definitely. You can uh, check my work at sociosociety.com. Uh, you can check me on you Twitter. You might want to spell that. Sucio, okay. It's uh, for my Caucasian friends. It <laughs> is S-U-C-I-O society.com socio means dirty so it's like uh, the dirty society it's like you know has a lot of meanings to it but you know we'll get deeper on that later all right well thank you for joining us latin no doubt thanks for having me no problem no problem glad to see you again thank you for joining us it's the what what's new what's next and what's hot